yeah, yeah, have a good day. Uh, what can I do for you? A bathroom key. Okay, to be honest with you, uh, that's been lost for about a good two hours. My advice is to go knock on the bathroom door first. The dude I gave it to probably is sleeping in there, so just get a, a good knock in there, and then if that doesn't work, um, I should recommend just yelling, it's the police, and then maybe he'll come out after that. Um, yeah, those are the only two options I can give you. Yeah, I have another customer, so just scat. Okay, um, hey, what's up? Wow. Um, you're gonna make my night a lot harder than what I want it to be. Um, yeah, we're actually about to switch, uh, me and my co-worker out. Eh, kind of soon, and you're definitely going to prevent that, so, thank you, um, yeah, uh, I'm Jake, anyways, um, seems like you have a lot of, bunch of just, like, knickknacks and stuff, just, seems like you have a, a lot of little things here and there, are you, did you find everything okay, looks like you definitely did, right, okay, well, I guess, we can just get started here, but uh, first things first, I'm gonna put a stick of gum in. Yeah, I don't like my breath smelling too bad. I know I just said I was about to get off, but I actually just had uh, my lunch. Well, I had two other lunches before this third lunch, but um, people don't care. People just buy their stuff and uh, so we'll just get out of here kind of quick, so as it is kind of late right now, um, you usually don't have people in here all that much, but as you can see from all this craziness going on with the bathroom situation, it's a lot busier than what I would like it to be, I guess. Um, watch out behind you. Okay, okay let's uh, get started here now. Okay, um. First things first, we have a, a classic to this sort of type of establishment. It's a cup of noodle. Well, this is actually a chicken ramen express. This is like an off brand of something that's already stupidly cheap and inexpensive. And you're paying for it. That's, that's pretty interesting. Want to know what the fun fact about these things are? 1,115 milligrams of your daily intake of sodium. Yep, just this thing. I just thought I would let you know. But these things are actually pretty good. Sometimes if I am not feeling like wanting to vomit from eating our own food that we have here, pre-cooked like our little uh, world-famous hot dogs or our... Uh, surprise pizzas it's uh, basically all the meats and stuff that we don't sell we just throw it on a cheese pizza it's a good idea i actually came up with that but a couple of noodles are actually pretty good or chicken ramen express and you can hear all the uh dehydrated vegetables they have in there and the uh salty seasoning a great idea. Let's scan that in. Put it off to the side. Um, you also have here a nice little, uh, little opposite of that little spectrum. Some Nature Valley granola bars. Oh, these things are absolutely amazing. What's uh, really good about these is uh, the fact that they're super healthy, but I love the fact that they come in packs of two. So when you open one, you're technically getting a, a double serving. I feel it's always a nice feeling. Except uh, the fact that you even uh, open one of these bad boys out of your packet, they are instantly crumbling, crumbling, crumbling all over you, the car person next to you, you'll find crumbs everywhere. But 
without even biting into it. So uh, I highly suggest you watch out with these, but these are really good. Really, really good. Okay. Got a lot of food here. It's pretty, you know, when I was uh, sort of looking at our cameras here, I did notice with my eagle eyes that you uh, attempting to steal from us. Is that true? Why do you think I didn't notice the already open box of Reese's Pieces? Well, this isn't my first rodeo with someone who is uh, attempting to steal from us. Hmm. It seems like uh, you've been caught. I know you're up here paying for it now, but I mean, technically you didn't pay for the ones you already ate. That's yeah, okay. I mean, I guess you are up here. At least you're not like some other people who uh, basically just stuff stuff down their pants and just expect us that we just don't see them walking out like they have something up their butts. But um, these are always really, really good Reese's Pieces. Sounds kind of funny that I'm not a uh, huge fan of the Reese's peanut butter cups, but I actually really enjoy the Reese's pieces. Really good, but very sugary for you. You should probably uh, only leave a, a couple. Oh, I should double scan these. I do it sometimes to people who piss me off, but I'll just do one scan for you this time. Just uh, don't do that again. Oh, finally, <laughs> some drinks with all this snack food you have. Oh, yeah, you got a, another little bit of a healthier option, I guess you could say. Gatorade, but not just any Gatorade. You picked out the best flavor I know. Behind you, we have the uh, whole entire section of Gatorade, and it's kind of a hard to pick sometimes. Again, it's something I do like to try to look at every once in a while when I'm working. Um, I do have a big water jug I break into work sometimes, but sometimes I'll just take one of these. <laughs> They're pretty good. Um, I'm not really sure about the whole zero thing. I guess it has zero sugar in it, which is interesting because it doesn't really taste like less sweet. So, I mean, anything with less sugar is like good, I guess. Um, yeah, this is the, uh, Glacier Freeze, or if you're a, a normal, sane human being, you call it by its true name, the light blue Gatorade. Obviously there's, you know, the red, the orange, the yada yada yada. Um, one flavor that I actually do really like, I think we still have it back there, it's the mango one. That one's actually pretty good, it's a little bit more like a, like a sweeter flavor, this is more like a, like a diluted type of flavor, it's not anything too crazy. Anyways, good choice. Okay. Mm. Now I see why you uh, have a have a Gatorade, I see. You have uh, two friends to join him, I see. You know, uh, I usually am pretty good at sensing on when I need to and not need to card people. Yeah, you know, I uh, usually have a good sixth sense about it. With you though, maybe you're trying to trick me, but maybe that trick is also a trick. And I'm gonna trust my sixth sense and say, uh, you should be fine. Plus these are like cost barely anything. I don't think I should get into much trouble if I am wrong. <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, these are gonna be good. I really wouldn't recommend like these with, with that though. Like, I don't know if this is like your first time or something, but I mean, I guess you could. You can take it with anything. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Yeah, these are not really shots. They're kind of just uh, an amount, a small amount. I mean, you can take much shots if you want to. That's gonna be a fun time for you um, but yeah 
good good choice I guess definitely good if you're just wanting to try some stuff out or just needing some things for like a nice drink or something pretty good anyways um, kind of annoying wow you even have some stuff for yourself I see nice little I think a toothpaste Jeez, I didn't even know we had these. Yeah, I'm not really over at the self-care section all that must, must, much. Um, pronatal sensitive. You got some sensitive teeth, don't you? Well, it's probably from the sugar and salt intake that you're taking in there. But these are, they'll definitely help you out. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I wonder if you're, if, uh, you know, I mean, those people who, like, don't brush their teeth and they're like supernatural and they like eat raw meat all the time. I wonder how their teeth are and how they feel. Cause yeah, sometimes when I even, you know, blow in some cold air, I feel like I'm, uh, my teeth are about to jump out of my skull. It's, they're just pretty sensitive. But probably not as sensitive as yours because again, the sugar intake. Not a bad one. And again, I didn't even know we had such pick up one. We just usually sell so like the uh what do i call them like the travel size ones anyways okay are you dumb you should really try to read the back of these things if you're trying to do white strips and you have sensitive teeth you're gonna look like a fool because you might last with them on maybe 20, 30 seconds, and it's gonna hurt really, really, really bad. Um, I highly recommend that you actually don't buy these, um, even though I don't care, and it would actually be kind of funny to watch you freak out, because it will give you a shock to the system. With, uh, if you have sensitive teeth already and use these things, they are pretty powerful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, from your smile, I can definitely tell uh, you're gonna need these pretty bad, actually. Eh, give it a try, I guess. Let's see, it actually says here. Uh, I wish I knew how to read better. It actually doesn't say how long to do it. Probably just leave it on until it s starts to hurt. Even then, I don't care. Uh, it'd be funny to watch, you should do them out in the parking lot in your car to be kind of funny. <laughs> oh well. Oh. Now I know what you're really doing out in the parking lot. I know what these are for. These are uh, definitely made for a pretty good time, don't you think? Yeah, nothing too crazy, I guess. I mean, you know we do sell like the flashy Zippo, super cool, fly, wow, I'm so dope type of lighters, you know? You know, they have these ones because they're better and more consistent. That really takes the sort of fun and joy out of, uh, you know, lighting it up for whatever reason, right? Right. This one looks like it's been used a lot. Is this like the showcase one? Yeah. Probably not the, uh, the best one to use, but hey, like it's not like a zipper where it's you know, tick 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 the entire time you just one pressure and you're done. What are you gonna do? Is, uh, light some candles, right? 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 Well, trust me, we have a, a lot of cameras in here, so even outside we do. I'll be able to tell what's up. Okay, and I guess that's. Have a thing of hand sanitizer. Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to wash my hands after going to the bathroom, so I just kind of have one of these around here as well. well at least I used to have one around here. I don't use that often. Anyways, these are always really nice to mess with. Um, 
this one is just like the rig oh this is the uh, 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 the alloy alloy one anyways i know they have like different smelling ones i think if i remember they had like candy scented ones like uh um like a skittles a starburst a sour patch kids i don't really know how that would smell but uh probably a good idea that uh keep this around you as well okay oh yeah i see this it's kind of out of my field of view it's the little bit of vitamins you definitely need these again the sugar intake is gonna get you one of these days you gotta have your heart sort of uh, catch up with all these things you're eating um you also have a thing of deodorant which is good um this is the uh aluminum free one so uh you won't get cancer for uh using these yeah some of them that have like aluminum or something like that like you like die from them i guess i don't know pretty weird and uh oh you actually have one more drink here i don't know why you stack these so weird you have a a brisk iced tea i can if you have those drinks i mean like you should just get like like a coca-cola or something like that not a, a tea uh, i guess again you can sort of just do whatever you want to do but that's just not my problem whatsoever okay uh, i think we are all done here let's see the total oh um before we get to that um if you did like our service here today um we do offer tips yeah i know it's probably um not very professional to do but we do offer tips you can see right next to you um the tip jar is um empty well i mean there's like a dime and a couple quarters in there so if you would like to add to that in, in my dreams of traveling the world, I highly recommend you tip. Okay, well, let's get back to the total. Um, your total is, yeah, um, how much do you have or cash card or whatever? You're joking. You're actually kidding. I, oh, I don't even want to pick this up. What do you do for a living? Why are these ones? Oh, is that a five? Oh my goodness. Interesting. Why are there red stains on this dollar bill? Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, well, there's. Uh, uh. Oh, these ones are all in the back. 